Friends, in today's look at the news and editorials, I'm trying to explain from a universalist perspective. We believe Christ on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they're doing, right? We see so much flip-flopping. We see career politicians just changing their mind depending wherever the political winds are blowing. So let's go there. Bob Casey's facade of moderation. Pennsylvanians may see through his claim to be a pro fracking economic centrist. Biden's diplomatic magical thinking, his attempts to soothe the Middle East have produced the opposite effect. The manufacturing boom that isn't. U.S. industry output has been flat for two years despite huge subsidies. Chicago's mayor of mayhem. Chicago mayor Brandon Johnson lives in a progressive fantasy land. Ryan Ruth's political mo motives. Some would-be assassins are mentally ill. Well, I would claim all are mentally ill. Congress can protect Jews on campus. A new bill would clarify the Civil Rights Act's bar against anti-Semitism and toughen the penalties. How America wins this November. Down-ballot Republicans should expose Harris's failures and stay their own conservative course. Trumponomics may be more Oprah than Reagan. In his first term, the good policies outweighed the foolish ones. Don't expect the same in a second. And finally, the Harris plan for housing shortages. Her plan would stimulate demand, not supply, and redistribute wealth to the sellers of existing homes.